Defense experts are closely watching Pakistan's potential acquisition of the Chinese J-35A fifth-generation stealth fighter, which could significantly alter the power dynamics in South Asia. This development has sparked speculation that the United States might offer India the F-35A stealth fighter to counter China's influence and strengthen India's defense, marking a strategic shift in U.S.-India relations and intensifying regional competition for air superiority. The J-35A, a carrier-capable stealth fighter developed by China, is equipped with advanced avionics, stealth features, and a wide range of modern weaponry. If Pakistan acquires this aircraft, it could greatly enhance its air capabilities and potentially shift the regional balance of power. The close military ties between China and Pakistan make this acquisition likely, and for India, the introduction of the J-35A into Pakistan's arsenal would necessitate strong countermeasures, especially as China also operates fifth-generation fighters like the J-20. In response, the U.S. may see an opportunity to strengthen its strategic partnership with India and curb China's growing influence in South Asia. Offering India the F-35A, one of the world's most advanced stealth fighters, could provide India with a significant technological advantage. However, this deal could face challenges, particularly regarding India's S-400 air defense systems purchased from Russia, as the U.S. has strict regulations about the F-35's proximity to Russian systems. Experts suggest that the U.S. might impose conditions on the F-35A sale to India, such as ensuring geographic separation from S-400 systems and enhanced oversight. While the F-35A could bolster India's defense capabilities, it comes with high acquisition and maintenance costs and could divert attention from India's indigenous fighter programs, such as the AMCA. Additionally, it may strain India's long-standing defense ties with Russia. India is preparing to enhance its naval strength significantly with the expected acquisition of 26 Rafale M fighter jets and three Scorpion-class submarines in a deal with France, which is anticipated to be finalized by January 2025. The Rafale M jets, intended for deployment on India's indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant, are equipped with advanced weaponry, including meteor missiles, and are highly agile. These jets share 80% of their components with the Rafale jets already in service with the Indian Air Force. The acquisition, valued at over rupees 50,000 crore, aims to bolster India's strike capabilities in the Indian Ocean region, where rising maritime threats from China and Pakistan are of concern. The deal also includes the procurement of three Scorpion-class submarines, known for their stealth and sophisticated technology. These submarines, under construction at Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders in Mumbai, will enhance India's underwater deterrence and contribute to its broader submarine fleet, including future nuclear-powered vessels. These acquisitions reflect India's ongoing efforts to modernize its naval forces in response to shifting security dynamics in the Indo-Pacific region, particularly China's expanding naval presence. Experts note that the new assets will strengthen India's ability to protect vital sea routes from Africa's east coast to the Straits of Malacca, consolidating its strategic position in the region. The procurement is seen as a key step in reinforcing India's maritime security and ensuring readiness to face potential challenges from neighboring countries. The Indian Air Force has been forced to extend the service life of its aging MiG-21 Bison fighter jets beyond the planned retirement date of December 2025. This decision was made due to delays in the induction of the Tejas MK-1A, which was intended to replace the MiG-21s. The Indian Air Force had initially planned to establish its first Tejas MK-1A squadron by July 2024 at NAL Air Force Base in Rajasthan, but production delays, particularly in engine supply, have disrupted this timeline. Despite several upgrades, the MiG-21 Bison, has far exceeded its intended service life. It has participated in multiple conflicts and is credited with shooting down a Pakistani F-16 during the 2019 Balakot airstrikes, though it has earned the nickname Flying Coffin due to numerous accidents and pilot fatalities. The Tejas MK-1A, with its advanced radar, improved electronic warfare systems, and enhanced weapons capacity, 
offers a significant technological upgrade over the MiG-21. However, the IF must continue operating the MiG-21 Bison until the Tejas MK-1A's production catches up with the schedule. This situation highlights the challenges the IF faces in modernizing its fleet, especially as it operates below its sanctioned strength of 42 squadrons. The IF urgently requires new fighter jets to maintain readiness, making the timely delivery of platforms like the Tejas MK-1A critical. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL is working to resolve supply chain issues and increase production. Meanwhile, the IF is focused on ensuring the continued mission readiness of the MiG-21 Bison, acknowledging that this extension is a temporary but necessary measure to address the gaps in its fleet. The twin-engine deck-based fighter, TDBF program, currently under review by the National Security Council Secretariat, NSCS, marks a significant step forward in India's naval aviation capabilities. Designed to replace the aging MiG-29K fleet on the INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant, the TED-BF is being developed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, and manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. This advanced multirole combat fighter features a canard delta wing design and is considered a fifth generation minus fighter, capable of air superiority, anti ship warfare, and electronic warfare. The Indian Navy's updated requirement for the TED BF stands at approximately 87 aircraft, reduced from an initial estimate of 145 due to a shift to a two carrier strategy. The Navy is working with ADA to integrate 14 critical upgrades into the TED BF including automatic landing and takeoff features, some of which have already been successfully tested on the Tejas Navy. The aircraft will be powered by twin General Electric F-414 engines, designed for shorter takeoffs from Stobar carriers. Modifications have been made to enhance stealth, such as reducing radar cross-section and integrating semi-recessed missile bays. The TED-BF's first flight is expected by 2026, with production set to begin in 2031. The program has received approval from several ministries and is currently under detailed review by the NSCS, with Rs 14,000 crores sought for the development of four prototypes. Once the critical design review is completed in early 2025, funding approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security will be pursued. The TED-BF is integral to strengthening India's maritime security and advancing its defense strategy, focused on self-reliance. Despite facing challenges like budgetary constraints and timeline delays, the program remains vital for the Navy's modernization and operational readiness. The Indian Navy is working to enhance its amphibious warfare capabilities by planning the acquisition of four new landing platform docks or LPDs, which are essential for a variety of missions such as amphibious assaults, troop deployments, and humanitarian efforts. A key decision the Navy faces is whether to pursue an entirely indigenous design or collaborate with foreign partners for these vital vessels. In 2021, the Ministry of Defense issued a request for information or RFI for the procurement of four LPDs intended to be built by Indian shipyards. However, the complexity of these vessels has led the Ministry of Defense to allow collaboration with foreign defense companies for design and technological assistance, which aligns with India's broader self-reliance goals while recognizing the benefits of international partnerships. Two prominent Indian shipyards, Hindustan Shipyard Limited, HSL, and Larson and Tubro, LNT, are competing for the contract. HSL is partnering with France's Naval Group, renowned for its amphibious vessel expertise, while LNT is working with Spain's Navancha, offering a variant of the Juan Carlos I amphibious assault ship currently in service with several navies. Despite challenges such as budget constraints, technology transfer issues, and the need for timely delivery, the Indian government's focus on indigenous manufacturing and its openness to private sector involvement provide a framework for overcoming these obstacles. A final decision on the design and production pathway is expected soon, and whichever route is chosen, the LPD program is set to enhance India's amphibious capabilities and strengthen its naval power in the region.
That's all from YKS team for now. If you like the information, then please do share and give a like. You can also become our channel member and support our work. Thanks for watching.